Hi friends, this is Leela. So if you are coming first time to this video, please subscribe to my channel so that I will be posting all the new front end topics and also the front end courses in this channel. Now coming to this video, in the previous video we have seen about communication between the components. So sending data to the child components and also getting data from the child components we have seen. So that concept input output concept is the important uh, concept for the communication of the components and also in this angular so you will be having another another methods also so this is also one of the important method input output uh, thing using communication between the components in the angular now in this video what we will try to do is you will say try to see the styling of this components so styling of this components means for example here this add user this is an h3 and this users list this is also an h3 now where we are having this h3 so for example here if you go to h3 so here in in this users.component.html i am having this h3 as a users list and if i go to this add user.component.html i am having here the h3 component so each h3 each header is diff in different components it is placing now what i want to do is i want to color this header h3 h3 element into red color so what can I do for example if I go to users component.html yeah okay fine what I will try to do is so I will go to the CSS and I will try to do h3 as color red this is fine so that means I have I have written something like for every header which is for every h3 element so which is h3 element present in the web page please apply the color red so this is the meaning of this one now if I go here and if I check surprisingly if you see here what it is happening is here you are getting red color for only the element which is present in the users.html only so that means the users.component.css for in which we have written so for this one only it has applied the color red but if you go to add user component so it has not applied the color red why you can also uh, you can tell that uh, why it has uh, not applied means uh, this is of the separate component and this is of different component uh, that is the reason you have written only the h3 color red in the only in the users component.css so this users component.css uh, will be applicable only to this users.component.html so that is the reason for this only users list h3 element the color red is apply, applied but here it is not applied you can say yeah it is it is one side it is correct only but according to the styling and CSS principles and all those things, so you have written here browser principle and all those things. You have written H3 color red means H3 wherever it is present in the web page, it has to apply the color red. So what is restricting for the uh, from this applying color red to the H3 element? What is restricting is so Angular default browser. What it will do is it will apply color red to the all H3 element. But Angular uses a special technique, something like shadow DOM property. Okay. So what it will do is, so for example, if you see the component here, app root component, or otherwise, if you go here, app users component. Now, if you go inside this app users component here, if you see H3. This is the H3 where the color red is applying. If you see this H3, a, a new attribute has been added here. ng content hyphen rsm hyphen c42. You'll be able to see this attribute. And now I have written only H3 as color red. But what Angular has did is H3, which is having of attribute that RSM C42 of, uh, of which is having that attribute of H3 only applied to that element color red. So Angular enforces and the Angular changes this DOM so that it will apply attribute and it will enforces that one to apply only to that component only. For example, if you go inside this app hyphen add hyphen user, here you are having RSM hyphen C40. Here you are having C42. Okay, you are having C40. So for that is the reason why H3 is not applying color red. So if you see Angular, Angular what it will do is uh, it will apply for every component, it will apply unique attribute. For example, app hyphen add hyphen user is, is the red. So for this component, it will apply unique component to all the elements in the in that component. So for example, if you see for this div, it has added as RSM C40. For h3 rsm rsm c40 so for every element in this component which is present in this app hyphen add hyphen user only it has applied a unique unique attribute and if you go to 
here in this app users it has applied ngrsm c42 c42 okay it, it has applied one unique identifier so it will apply one unique identifier to all the components in the to all the elements in the in that particular component so that is the reason what it will do is so for every class for every, for, for every component css it is having it will automatically changes these all css to apply to that unique id only in that component so that is the reason h3 is applying only to this component okay now what is the reason is so actual actual element and all those things actual dom and all those things it will be having behind angular so angular creates a shadow dom behind the uh, behind the thing so modern browsers and all those things uh, so these all things uh, shadow dom is not supported so that is the reason it creates a shadow dom, shadow dom at the back side and it will show it will add an attribute like this and it will show it here like this in the dom okay this is the reason how it will uh, do this one so is there an option for this one to override yes we have an option to override this type of behavior angular's default behavior is this one adding an inter, uh, adding a unique identifier to each and every attribute in that component so that styles will be applied to only to that component only so if you want to override that one means so what we can do is you can go here and here I, in the users.component.css i have applied h3 color red right so now what i will try to do is here i will try to change this one so encapsulation okay you can see here encapsulation encapsulation is equal to so view encapsulation you can write here view encapsulation that means please remove that encapsulation so it is, it is encapsulating it is hiding the data it is hiding the data so it is hiding the data to be used to only to that to that thing only so it will not it will hide the data to the other components it will not show the data to other components so that it will not apply all the properties and all this to the other component so now what i am doing is so view can capture i am i am removing that one so here you will be having three options okay here you are having none and shadow dump and another one also you will be having view encapsulation dot you will be having another one something like emulated so that one is a default behavior okay you will be having emulated okay you are having an emulated right so this one is a default behavior. emulated means it will apply each and unique identifier so if you don't want to apply means you will apply none so as soon as you apply none here at the very first time if you see here so if i refresh so again this add user also we are red color has been applied so now if you see here if you go inspect element here 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 surprisingly you see that unique identifier has been removed for this user's component remember for this user's component for this add iphone user so nothing is removed attributes is there like that only okay now here h3 and here also surprisingly if you see here h3 directly it came like that okay without having attribute thing so that is the reason for this if it is having attribute also if it is having attribute also it is directly applying why because h3 that element is matching so it is it is skipping the the unique attribute so that is the reason for this h3 also and for this h3 also it is applying okay here users list is applying the red color so this is how we can remove the encapsulation behavior that styles applying only to that component we, we can remove that behavior of that one uh, styles thing so this might be you will be using not all the places so it is uh, one of the feature available this one so i am telling you if you want to apply uh, total for your total component all the things you can write it in the global styles.css you will be having here in the global you will be having here styles.css you can apply here global styles.css so that that styles.css will be applied everywhere but here if you want to oh, if you want to remove that behavior of that uh, unique attribute and all those things encapsulation behavior you can use this uh, what what i can say where is that one yeah encapsulation view encapsulation dot none so default one is emulated okay emulated means uh, if you mention this emulated also if you don't mention emulated also it's the same it's the default behavior is that one only and shadow dom is nothing but it will apply this one to the shadow dom okay so this shadow dom doesn't support by the more browsers and all those things so you will be not using same as this emulated only if you want to use the shadow dom it is uh, it is better to use the emulated so same thing does the shadow dom also does as the emulated only so none is the main thing so if you want to remove that one you can use the none so this is the view encapsulation in the angular so for removing the styles in the uh, to apply only for the components if you want to remove the type of behavior you can use this encapsulation okay encapsulation dot none you can add like this or otherwise i can use emulated if you mention this one or you don't mention this one in the same okay
So if you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.